Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike of the Cookie and Cream Podcast. Just letting you know you can financially support the show via Patreon.com. That's Patreon.com slash Cookie and Cream Pod. You can support us for as little as $2 a month. That's right. That's it. It's just 2 bucks a month. And trust me, that goes way further than you can imagine. So we'd really appreciate your support if you enjoy what we do. We're doing two shows a week for everybody. We've got the Cookie and Cream Podcast, and we have Smooth Fire FM Presents the Love Lounge. We're having a lot of fun we got a lot of plans and your support would mean the world to us thank you very much enjoy the show yeah i'm tired bro i'm tired i hate how they made that one of the side effects of like covid and i say they made it that (laughs) because they fucking made it that but yeah fatigue like man that's every day you know what i'm saying but anyway what do you what do you do yeah i don't know man fucking so what you so how all right so you got your Second jab, three, is it three days ago now? Saturday. Right. So. You still feeling a bit of, a bit? I feel, I feel better than I did um, yesterday. But, uh, yeah, just the fatigue is all, but that's always a thing, you know? So I, I can't even attribute it to the vaccine. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's like you just attribute it to being thirty six years old and working a real man's job, and yeah, on the grind all, <laughs> the, all grind, the time. Yeah. I want proof. I want physical proof, like the female orgasm. If I don't see it, I don't believe it. <laughs> right? <laughs> you just can't say and expect me to believe it. I don't believe you. But yeah, if it if it was like a physical like people started turning orange you know as a as a side effect of the vaccinations okay well there you, right. you got evidence you know right in front of your face then everybody yeah, starts you, looking like the fucking simpsons suddenly hey you know or trump <laughs> right or, or or trump on the simpsons but yeah, something something that's not a normal feeling. Fatigue's normal. You know what I mean? Feeling feeling fucked is a normal feeling. You know what's so fucked up about fatigue to to me mm. Mm. is you get fatigue also when you do literally nothing. That's true too. You know those like days where it's like oh. I don't have work, I don't have anything to do, football's on. Yeah. I'm going to sit on my ass all day because I deserve it. That's right. And then, you know, let's say it's NFL Sunday, right? <laughs> yes. After two games, yep. you kind of look around, you're like, I'm I'm fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done nothing. That's right. How does that work? I've How noticed that. that. I don't know, man. I've noticed, dude. Like, I'll get tired. <laughs> See, I try to stay busy, but, like, yeah, I have those days. The same thing with, like, rain or, like, a good thunderstorm. That gives me fatigue. Ah, I feel that. Yeah. Right? And I know I'm not the only one. You know, I look forward to nights like that. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm going to sleep well. Or, like, if during the day, it's like, well, can't go anywhere. Might as well have a nap. <laughs> right. It's like, you know? I mean, I could go somewhere. I'm definitely choosing yeah, but, not to. Who wants to go out but, and... That shit. You know, I'm 70 to 80% water on any given day, so (laughs) I can relate to the rainfall. (laughs) Get a nice loud fart and there's your thunder. Yep. Yep. Get a little uh, little chemistry going between you and the lady. There's your lightning. A little something, something. Mm. Get some. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Ka-chow! 
<laughs> I want one of our listeners to say that after they ejaculate with their female partner. Ka-chow! Or even a female partner <laughs> with their male partner. Ka-chow! It's like, what the hell did you just say? Well, look, I listened to yeah, this what? podcast. It, it, I just thought it. For yeah, a goof. Just, <laughs> mm, they suggested Rusties. <laughs> classic you know what though those movies i wouldn't mind if they made more of those because they're they're good hearty movies they need to stop rebooting these stupid movies i feel that that they keep doing you know what i'm saying uh just it's only because they're doing them well you know keep doing keep doing it bring on cars four i say Cars is a cool concept. I I enjoy really cool. all of them. My kids love it, so it's easy to throw on and yeah, they pay attention to yeah. it. And they you know at least for that hour and a half, they pretty much shut the hell up, which is the goal. Oh, that's always the goal. I that's... mean, for all you parents out there, you know what I'm saying. It's like yeah, you don't put the movie on because you're looking out for their entertainment well-being. You put it on so they no. shut the hell up for a second so you can think that's straight. Tr- that's right. That's right. Um, God damn it. I got for. taxes to do. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Cars I've 3. Watching, I've been watching football all day, motherfucker. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm lethargic. Tired. I've been doing nothing, but I'm fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> They call it, you've heard of the itis. We've spoke about the itis. Oh, the itis. It's real. This, it's real, man. Man, oh, man. They don't, people over here are like, what's that? Like, it is, well, it is a, uh, it is surely a uniquely American term, though, because yeah. I think the itis probably originally came from the mass consumption of, you know, like barbecue ribs. Yeah. Or, 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 okay, Thanksgiving, turkey. turkey. That's probably turkey. where it really came from was the turkey. Apparently, tur- turkey has an enzyme in it that makes you tired and fatigued. Yeah, it, star- uh, it starts with a T. Turkey. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this turkey that makes you so tired? Mm, turkey. Oh, well, a bit, bit of turkey. <laughs> What's in this spam? Well, you know, a bit of spam. <laughs> but do you know spam is an acronym? Did you know that? An acronym, is it? Yep, 100%. Specially processed artificial meat spam. Artificial? Wait, hold on. I thought it was actual meat. It was just compressed into a tin. It's compressed. But it, but where where's the artificial come in? Specially processed Arctic meat. <laughs> hey, watch out, son! You you eat a penguin. Hold on, is this polar bear? Mm, it's a bit gamey. It's a bit... <laughs> I heated it up and it's still cold. God damn! <laughs> is that Atlantic salmon? Oh, shit! Tryptophan. <laughs> there it is. I just looked it up. Trip tryptophan. Tryptophan is uh, an essential amino acid. The body can't make it, so diet must supply tryptophan. Yep, so it's in and Turkey and it does make you really really sleepy. It's that itis. It's that I imagine if that's the, how the slang term came about. Like after Thanksgiving, like, yo son, I just had a bunch of turkey, man. I got that tryptophan. It's like, nah, son, you tripping, fam. <laughs> sure, why not? That's probably how You're it's just started. lazy. I mean, it rhymes. Trip, trip to fan. Wow. I wonder if it, you can hallucinate from it. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder like, if it got it, its name because yeah. someone tripped over a fan. <laughs> trip to fan. <laughs> People did that. Before Bluetooth. Some dude walking through his house munching on a turkey leg and he trips over that fucking space <laughs> fan in his living room. He goes, ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. His wife's like, what happened? sweetheart, what what happened? I was munching on this turkey leg. Uh-huh. Because, you know, honey, these, these leftovers getting fucking ridiculous in the fridge. I'm just saying. All right. I'm the only one eating them. <laughs> I'm on my diet. 
I told your relatives. I, I was like, I was like, y'all, y'all, take shit home. Take it home. Take home the cranberry sauce. Take home the stuffing. Take home the sweet potato casserole. And 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 what's your family do? What's your family do? Pull some bitch ass shit as usual. Don't as take usual. nothing. I got a fridge full of leftovers. Right. They're all so polite. Like, no, no, thank you. We don't want no. We're we're good, thank you. But what they're really saying is, we don't want that dry ass food. Shit's <laughs> right. dry. I ain't fill my fridge with that shit. Shit's dry as the Sahara Desert. We had Sandra's birthday three days ago at our house. No one took home them goddamn leftovers. And now, Hell what, yeah. Thanksgiving, you want me to take home a shit from your house? Ain't happening, Jeb. Jeb, it ain't happening. Why is it when it's home-cooked food, it's left at my home? But when I order from Chick-fil-A, there's none left for me and the family. <laughs> Explain that shit. And speaking of which, I was craving Chick-fil-A last Sunday, and they's closed! <laughs> I mean, look, I come to your house. I'm a good Christian. I understand it's run by Christians, but c- c- Lord have mercy, help me. I'm about to blaspheme. Yeah. I'm about to blaspheme. Go blaspheme. <laughs> oh, about to say Jesus' name in vain. You got me blaspheming in the house, walking around in my tighty whities munching on a turkey leg. I trip over the goddamn fan. Uh, trip to fan. What are you ordering? Trip to fan. I hadn't, I hadn't a Tiffany. <laughs> What'd you call me, Club? Nothing. Tryptophan. I hadn't a Tiffany. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I feel like that would be, that would definitely be a joke that like an asshole would make about like his friend John who transitioned to a woman and is now known as Tiffany. Right. And he'd be like, uh, be like, oh, I just. Hey, I, I just had an epiphany. And been, Shut the fuck up. Look, I, I'm still mm. accepting who I am. Yeah. I don't need the jokes. No, I'm just I'm just saying I, I had an epiphany. You're a you're you're a chick now, John. <laughs> you know, it just it just really hit me. I'm just I'm not even trying to be mean. Like it really hit like like wow. Like I'm looking at you. John, I gotta say, you're kinda hot. What if the name change at the courthouse is just like, all right, well, to make it official, just sign down here. I'll just get your John Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I can't escape. <laughs> uh, we kid, we kid. There is, um, Jeff Foxworthy did a um, name, name play like that when you get a female's name wrong. Um, like on a one night stand or something, he goes, uh, "Oh, thanks. You know, it was good night with you, Sarah." And she goes, "What? You call me Sarah?" He said, "Oh no, I just said Sarah. Beer in the refrigerator. I'm really thirsty." <laughs> <laughs> he was always classic great, man. I remember listening to him in my friend's car um, on outings, uh, wherever the fuck we were. On on the um, cassette tape, dude. Jeff yeah, Foxworthy cassette school. tapes, and and then Jeff Foxworthy CDs, dude. He is still to this day. Well, Chappelle probably overtook him, yeah. but he was for a very very long time, decades. He was the yeah. most financially successful comedian in the world. He deserved it, man. He was funny. He was funny as shit. Still, I'm sure he, he still, still is. is. He's uh, still I'm funny. sure. I'm, I'm sure he's around. I don't hear. Him, we he, don't hear much. He was the type of comedian that, like, you know, you'd listen to his disc, you drive into your driveway, and like, still listen to it. Yeah, like yeah. You wouldn't get out of the car, and it brightened up you know your day. Mean? Exactly. It always brightened. That's up exactly your day. right, bro. I remember the very first. Uh, blue collar comedy tour dvd they put out like him and ron yeah. white and um larry the cable guy and larry the cable guy dave uh oh Eng- engville I-, I might be fucking his name up could my be. bad but <laughs> i remember foxworthy comes out the very beginning of his set and he he lifts his foot up off the stage and he points to it to like his boot yeah and he goes he, he's like y'all i just i gotta tell you i'm wearing 
Stingray boots. <laughs> He's like, I like, I ain't kidding. It's Stingray boots, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell y'all now. This is why you don't give rednecks money. <laughs> <laughs> and it's tr- it's real, man. It's, it's he, true. He was, he's the re- he's the realest motherfucker out there. It, that's right. It ain't like he wasn't gonna not buy those stingray boots. He's got the money for it. Fuck yeah, he's going to buy it. I wonder if like like he went into like some high-end, you know, apparel shop and he sees the stingray boots like behind a glass case. Yeah. It's like behind the counter. It's like that type of item. It's you know, it's like a $6,000 pair oh. of boots and he just kind of takes a look at it and he goes, "You know that there's a part of me that is just so against this, but there's also there's also a part of me that just goes, well, well, daggone, I, I got so much fucking money in the bank. Yeah. I mean, I can do it. I can do it. I, I can see him going to, like, the Texas Aquarium and visiting the Stingray habitat. And he'd be like, God damn, these are some beautiful creatures. And they're like, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. One out of 20 still on the planet, endangered. And he's just like, can you make boots out of them? <laughs> and he's like, God damn right, this is Texas. You can make boots out of anything and money's right. That's right. And he just he just hands him a stack of <laughs> $100 bills. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm going hey. to fill you in on something, Jeff. Hold on. Hold on. Just, just fucking second. Hold on. Not only... <laughs> Can you get stingray boots made from the the very stingrays you see in this tank? Well, I'm gonna tell you this: you ever heard you ever heard of death row boots? Cause oh. this Texas sun. All right, I'm talking about. Hey, you know how we roll? We got death row. Mm-hmm. We we mm-hmm. execute here. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you right now. You want yourself a pe- next week? I'll get you a pair of pedophile boots made from the flesh. <laughs> Of some piece of shit that we that we killed, and he deserved it. I, I swear. But I'm talking flesh entrails. We'll, we'll we'll coat it with with a Scotch guard to waterproof it. You, you I'm I'm telling you, you, walk around in your pedophile boots. When people say, "What what kind of what kind of boots says that snakeskin?" Hell no, nope. hell no, son. Nope. These boots are made from a human being that decided. He was going to make terrible choices, mm-hmm. so I chose for him to keep my yeah. feet warm in the brisk yeah. desert winter at night right here in Texas, God damn it! That's right. Who you wearing, Jeff? What is that? Suede? No, it's Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Pedophile boots. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting too famous, so I had to make these wild accusations that are true. <laughs> what a shame that would be if that that actually like happened. If oh like, well, I was ne- see like Larry the Cable Guy for me. This is just me. I found him funny yeah. for ten minutes. Yeah, that's just he me. kept doing. I'm not the same. He kept I, doing the same shit. Yeah, yeah. I look. I you know. fuck, dude. I respect the hell out of it. That I mean, by himself, he's selling out stadiums. I mean, what what was his saying? Get her done. What was, get her done. That's right. But uh, Jeff Foxworthy's thing was you might be a redneck. Yeah, he but, was. But the, that was awesome. He was like the blue collar comedy fucking. He was the king. He was he like was the pioneer, <clears throat> basically. Yeah. But yeah, get her done was kind of like, all right, motherfucker, we got her done. And then the cousin got her done. Everyone, the whole town got her done. So let's move on. From that, I think Mater is more famous than Larry the Cable Guy now. It's got to be at this it point. Has to be. Tell Mater, it was like that's tomato, or was it? That's Ron White's thing, right? Oh, tater salad. What? No, no, no. I'm saying tow Mater, like oh, from, oh, we're fuck out. sorry. Because <laughs> you were you were about to be a Ron White shit the ta- the you know they they call me Tater Salad you know that that shit I don't recall that one yeah it was this famous 
nickname oh. bit he would do. It, it was a whole special what? title, Call Me Tater Salad. What? And he's always been funny, bro. Ron White's always been... I just love his style, because he'll sit up there on the stage with a giant glass of bourbon and a cigar, yeah. not giving a fuck. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Okay. Uh, you know he, he used to... Like, he would tell stories. He'd be like... <laughs> I mean, I'll butcher it, but it was this story about riding in a Cessna <laughs> in a plane. Right. It... He's just like we're in this, we're in this tiny ass Cessna. We're we're traveling at the speed of smell. <laughs> <laughs> Simple but effective, man. And he just he would you know obviously I don't do it any justice. His storytelling is yeah. phenomenal. Well, speaking of stories, there's a new story about Batman coming out. He's not gay, unlike Superman's son. So, spoilers. <laughs> oh, so, excuse me. Let me correct not you. Yet. Let me correct you, bigot. Bisexual. Oh, bu- oh shit. F- fucking unbelievable, bigoted. <sighs> You're, you know, I'm just going to say you, my friend, are lucky Damn. that you have lovely, sexy mocha skin because... You're speaking yep. like a true straight white cis male right now. I'm just yep. gonna say it. If you suck dick, you're still gay. Doesn't matter if you go back to pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you can experiment in college, and that's about it. But if you keep going back, you're gay. <laughs> nah, do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah, care. whatever. But um, yeah, there's a new Batman. And I did watch the trailer. You told me to watch the trailer. So what do you think, honestly? So the one I saw, it starts off at the diner, right? Right. And they apprehend the Riddler. Yeah. Yeah, that one. The Riddler looked like the dude that played the Scarecrow from Christian Bale's Batman movies, just from behind. Yeah, Cillian Murphy, the actor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't know if it's him or not, but um, yeah, um, Catwoman, you see her a lot more, which is um, uh, what's her name, Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Yeah, I, Zoe I Kravitz. Zoe, that's yeah, Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. Um, what a I mean, fucking it, legend her father is. God damn. And she's making a name for herself too. Like, yeah, she's, it's great. She's not anything to sneeze at. So. Yeah, she's very talented, very, very pretty girl. And, um, yeah, I mean, she has a big shoes to fill and Hathaway killed Catwoman as well. She did, like she did quite well. She did quite well. But then so, again, then again, let's be honest. Yeah. The standard Anne Hathaway was held to was Holly Berry's Catwoman. Of course. And I, so my- I could have played a better Catwoman. Than Holly Your butthole could have played a better Catwoman, <laughs> and and I'm gonna tell you this: it, I'd have shown it. <laughs> I'd have I think, lifted that tail, motherfucker. I think um, the uh, the boys down at Smooth Fire. I think Johnny Jive's impression of a cat that sounded like a pigeon could have done a better Catwoman. <laughs> 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 Folks, if you haven't heard the gag reel, the gag reel, the bloopers from uh, Love Lounge, that just went up in the last couple of days on all our yeah, platforms. Gag on it. And on Go the, gag uh, on yeah, it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Funny as hell. Yeah. But anyway, but, so yeah, um, this new Batman trailer, man. Like, Yeah, I think, look, man, Christian, uh, what's his name? Christian Bale? Robert, Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. It's a different take, yeah, which is always good. It is good, and I gotta tell you, I mean, obviously, we don't, we didn't see too much. Yeah. We saw enough, but we didn't see too much with this new trailer, which I appreciate the hell out of. I really do. Yeah. I gotta say, though, visually, Robert Pattinson yeah. looks like a bad motherfucker, dude. He looks, he looks psycho. He this looks is, like the Joker that wasn't it. the Joker. He was Batman instead. Because here's the thing, I always tell people, like, 
Batman, like Bruce Wayne is not mentally stable. I always try no to way. really tell people this and, and, and yeah. remind them like Bruce Wayne is not some, he's not exactly a saint. No. Like he will, really. he will get, he tries not to kill people. I get it, but he will get some shit done. Uh, I mean, cause he's not spending his millions on therapy. He's spending it on batarangs. <laughs> he's, he's spending it on right. beating criminals to a bloody pulp with his bare hands. Yeah. Based on much. ninja training he got in the middle of fucking nowhere. Nowhere. How he even found the League of Shadows is hilarious. Like only a psycho finds them. <laughs> Like, only a psychopath finds, yeah. like, a blue tulip-looking dumbass flower in the middle of a mountain, is, and it's just like, uh, I've, yes, I've, I have retrieved it. And even the ninjas are like, god damn, this white boy from, like, the Chicago-type city just found yeah. this shit what, on the side of a mountain. What is he doing? What is this dude doing? We sent him over there to die. Yeah. But he found the shit, and he's just like, I... I'm here to battle darkness, and they're like, "Okay, this this guy, like we this, thought we were crazy. Yeah. This guy, Inter- yeah, he's got issues." Bruce, calm down. Yeah, come on, come on, Bruce, come on. Like the thing about Bruce Wayne, and I can't remember who did it, uh, but like Bruce Wayne's vengeance on the city was because his parents got killed, right? And it was like if that happened to a black kid. There would not be Batman, because it happens all the time. Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm serious, man. I know. Right? I'm I'm laughing and cringing <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> that's, yeah, dude, that's why um, Batman's white. <laughs> Because if he was black, you know, it's and his like, parents got killed, it'd be like, well, it's a docu series, and that's it. It's a docu series called Chicago. Chica- it, you know what? Hey, man, or Detroit, Chicago PD, or, yeah, or and you know what? It's as, as hard as <laughs> jokes like that come across sometimes, and as harsh as it might sound. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. Well, you know. This this bullshit's going on. Yeah. To try right. to make some light of it, obviously, if, if, you know. Hard to make light of it if you're actually directly involved, but. Of course. Because, hey, yeah. imagine me pitching this to you, okay? <clears throat> you're the president of the company, DC. Man, I got this brand new story for you. You'll never believe it. Right? Uh, I'm pitching it to you. I'm right? listening. Oh, man. oh, I know you are. So, what it is, it's this black kid, and his parents are wealthy. Now, your line is, wait a minute, let me stop you there. I was just going to say, <laughs> hold on, hold, hold on a second, son. Here at DC, we try to stay grounded in, in some yeah. sort of reality, even though it doesn't seem like we do. I know we got, you know, Superman yeah. shit, but... I know we I know we do fiction. Hold on. That, but hey, hey. <laughs> Let's let's uh let's stay a bit grounded. Hey, kid, uh I want you to just pump the brakes for a second. <laughs> pump the brakes. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. But but hear me out. His parents get shot and killed right in front of him. Now what's your line? <laughs> it's it's one word and it's two letters. It begins with S. And it rhymes with O. <laughs> I was going to say a three-letter word. I was going to go, and? <laughs> like, hold on. I'm waiting for the plot but twist. That, what, what, yeah, hold see, on. But that, would be, but that would be implying you want to know more. You'd just ah, be like, good so? point. Yes. You'd just be like, so? Yes. Like, Damn. The racist producer would, yes. So? That's right. That's what right. if he's bisexual? Does that change things? Oh, well, hold on. Hold Wait on. A minute, now you're now. on to some. Now I'm awake. Now you seem oh, woke. Hold on. Let me... Let me put my Earl Grey tea down. Hold on a second. We- <laughs> 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 Bitch, stop oh. sucking my dick. Oh. It's got, oh. it's get, yep. it's gotten real. Get Hold out on. of my from underneath my desk. Yep. Oh, <laughs> just a second, Samantha. I'm gonna need you to leave the office for a second. Hold, hold my calls. Cancel all the meetings. 
<laughs> oh my lord! See, I've seen. All right, I, I, I may not agree with it, but I saw what uh, Jake down the hall did with the uh, good old John Kent Superman's son, and oh boy, boy, is that all the rage now? That is all the rage. So, are you telling me? Are you telling me, son, mm-hmm. that this African American version of Bruce Wayne you're pitching to me? Not only were his parents killed in a Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume a gangland shooting. Don't get offended. Uh, I'm just I'm don't just don't assume some because you're out. you're spot on. Oh, I know. You know what? They pay me the big bucks for a reason. Yeah, but are Hell you yeah. telling me? Are you telling me that the black Bruce Wayne? Mm-hmm. Are you telling me that we can get a scene in not only the comics but the live action movie? Mm. Where he's sitting in a VIP section of a nightclub. Yep. They're having champagne. They're celebrating the next multi billion dollar venture that Wayne Enterprises is undertaking. Yep. And then suddenly we do a smash cut yep. to the private VIP bathroom mm-hmm. and he's blowing dudes in the stall. Tell me it's yep. in so. Hey. But you know what the kicker of this is? Spill it. It all takes place in the dark. And because they're both black, if it doesn't hit, we can we have total deniability because you can't see who it is anyways. Oh, my Just a bunch Lord of eyes and teeth. Oh, oh my taint. Lord, have mercy. I'm, get, I'm getting hard just hearing it. Call Samantha back in. I'm going to need her to finish. Get back on my dick. <laughs> 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 but that's why Batman's not black, dude. Just saying. And why why is there not an Asian Batman if we're on the, on the subject? Ain't nobody going to believe. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to believe. Do you, do, what would the what would the cowl look like? It's a, you know it was an Asian for sure. <laughs> He's a Oh my god. What <laughs> would his voice be? Hey man, what you doing down there, mate? I ain't Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do it. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> but the cowl, the eyes wouldn't be that wide. Because they don't need to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just did just whatever. I'm not sorry, but still. He's like sitting in the interrogation room with the Joker. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, you 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 wanted me. Oh. Well, here I am. I <laughs> I sit across from you, humbled by your efforts. <laughs> I said, oh, "Well, whatever is his weapon of choice, what is it going to be? Chopsticks." <laughs> it's amazing. It's like how we're so willing to hit all the low-hanging fruit. We don't give a fuck. I know. I don't care. I'll be cheap. <laughs> Speaking of cheap, I wonder if, like, all of his gadgets, instead of being made by, you know, like, Morgan Freeman's character, instead, yeah. he just, like, outsourced everything to a sweatshop in China oh, for yeah. all his bat gadgets. And then the Batmobile would be a Honda Civic with underglow. I ain't catching you. I ain't catching you. <laughs> but then Bane, you know how Bane's like three times bigger than Batman? Bane would be just like a regular dude. Just like some you know, average <laughs> height a, white guy. He's a random dude on the street. Okay, so what if he's Indian? The Batmobile would be a tuk-tuk. <laughs> Oh, 
fucking god. With all the bells and whistles. Literal bells and whistles. <laughs> and tassels. <laughs> oh. his, his, his weapon of choice would be a flute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Again, it's like the interrogation room scene, and he starts playing the flute, and like a dancing cobra pops out of a vase. Yeah. It's just to like intimidate Whoa. the Joker. Oh my God. Be like, hey, man, Are we you canceled ask me yet? whatever you want. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Surely so, we're cause... close at this point. Whatever. Whatever. I am no liar. I really <sighs> need you to tell me where, where she is. Be like, dude, I'm trying to answer your question, but I cannot understand what the fuck you're saying. Where's the dude that asked me if I wanted a translator? I didn't know that you'd knock the cop out and you'd come in. Okay? I didn't know there would be a switcheroo. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You, oh, no, no, no. You have done very, very bad things. <laughs> oh, oh no no, Mr. Joker! No no no, you have been, you have been very very bad. <laughs> I have, oh no no, I have heard that. No. Uh, I have heard that the district attorney has a bomb strapped to him along with his girlfriend. You are going to need to tell me where they are. Oh, can't do it because I can't understand what you're saying. Oh, I, 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 I. It's like, look, man, I know English is your second language, and I respect that, but shit. You know, just can you have Google Translate or something? <laughs> like, come on, man. Imagine if uh, Batman was a Muslim woman, and then... <laughs> <laughs> well, she'd have to wear the costume 24-7. She'd, have, she'd be Batman all the time. Damn. <laughs> And then, yeah, women would just be getting tackled left, left, right, oh, and center. Fuck. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> I I know some women that practice that faith, and they're awesome women, by the way. I know they're a couple. awesome. And they do you? Cool. I know a couple. How how nice are they? They're very nice, and uh, the ones I know. Um, yeah. Can I tell you straight up? Yep. They can't fucking stand it. Really? They hate it. See, but the fucked up thing about that is, not only it's fucked up initially, if if they have a daughter, their daughter then has to automatically um, cover up as well. Yeah. Like they don't, apparently, I, they don't have that choice, man. I don't know all the rules and the stipulations and... See that shit ain't cool, man. But like the ones I know, they they're they live in America, so like they hate it, but. One of them, one of them, um, because it's America, she one Mm -hmm. day woke up and went, oh, wait, nah, fuck this, Uh. and just filed on her own for divorce. She was like, fuck Sharia law and all that, like, like, who cares? I'm in the United States, gives a shit. I'm in the United States. No one's gonna, no one's gonna, like, drag me out to Wisconsin Avenue in D.C. and try to stone me. Fuck it. No. I'm done. Of course not. Of course not. And she, and she, uh, I met her in L.A. because she was actually doing, like, some open mic comedy. No shit. Yeah, I mean, shit. I don't know, I don't, I, I, of course, lost touch a a long time ago. I don't know what she's up to now. But anyway, I mean... Yeah, that's crazy. I there's there's a couple of them that come into my work, and I can't you know you can't see much of them, but she always has like dope shoes on, and I'm like complimenting her on her shoes. Right, I'm like oh those are cool, and she like has the conversation with me. I'm just like well, like I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get too in depth. Like I don't want your husband to, you know, say anything like oh why are you hitting on my wife, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's like, not even it's not even like. Why are you hitting it's, on my wife? It's why are you speaking why are you to her at, at all? Yeah. yeah why are right. you breathing in front of her? True. True. Yo, that Sharia law shit, 
Like that's some crazy. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not trying to blanket statement like all over Muslims and shit. Yeah. But like, because some are are very. They they just have like loose faith. You know what I mean? Like they yeah, just yeah, live their yeah. life and they're very fine people. And that's that's great. Yeah. But then you yeah. get into like that hardcore like Sharia shit. It's hardcore, bro. Dude. Fuck that. Are you kidding me? It's bad. And then. You know, this ongoing situation, which is going on over in the Middle East, especially Afghanistan, bro. Still. You, I mean, you want to talk about women being scared for their life. They're like, you don't understand. The military, like the Americans leave. You know who you leave us with? You leave us with the men we've feared since we were five years old, since they started laying their fucking nasty ass eyeballs on us. Yeah, that's right. Wondering how they're going to enslave us. Yeah. Fuck oh, yeah, just, that shit. And I'm not saying it's all of them. That's, that's you know, it, that's, to be clear. Yeah, but they're, they are out there at the same time. <clears throat> and dude, and I've fun. read stories, man. Like, there was, a, there was this there's this activist, uh, this woman. I, I, of course, don't remember her name. But um, she goes on a lot of talk shows and a lot of, like, uh, news stuff. And she's, like, an ex- Muslim, like devout, like ex, like left the Sharia law, and like because she yeah. she was living in the states, so she so she could, right? She was living in America, and she said, I, "I I can't like this is." She was just getting dragged through the fucking dirt for like yeah, yeah. twenty years, right? And she's like, "Nah, I'm done." And mm. there was this whole legal battle, and even but she was saying that even in a free country like the states. A first yeah. world nation yeah. where you can basically do pretty much whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody. She would yep. she was saying that inside the house, she's like, it's like a house of fucking horrors. Yeah. It's like you don't bad, understand. Dude. It's like you it's like our next door neighbors never would suspect a thing because everybody acts happy. Yeah. But she's like, once she was like inside that house. The door was shut. It was it was like a fucking torture chamber. Damn. Yeah, it's, dude. It's it, not yeah. right. It's insane. It's not right. So now imagine what it's like in a third world country. And when, when the countries, the whole country's like that, whether yeah. you're in your home or not, and where half of them, you know, hmm. this might sound insensitive, but it's just an observation. But. When you have a country where there's this giant population of, of, of especially these men, these men who have primitive mindsets, yeah, and they they they're like they're like, nah, living in a cave is fucking awesome. <laughs> it's like, okay, what yeah. else do you think's awesome? Well, obviously, stoning chicks in the street. That's cool. That's cool. And it's like, Why okay, not? bro, I think you need to broaden your horizons a bit. No. I think you need no to, way. like, wake the fuck up. Nah, we've been doing it for thousands of years, man. And that's, and talk, see, and. Talk him out. And that's the thing, bro. It's been yeah. going on for a millennia. Yeah. And, and, and we, you know, we've got first worlders who are like, oh, no, we'll go over there and, uh, you know, We'll just like change their mind or something. Yeah. Yeah, sure you will. By the power of Christ. Sure. <laughs> right. our, yeah. Christ our Christ, though, not <laughs> yours, because yours doesn't exist. But ours does. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's just dumb. Come on. Like, you know, their heart's in the right place, but your fucking mind isn't. Don't be dumb about it, yo. Remember, so. did you did you watch the not not the very last Rambo movie, like the Last Blood, but the one right, just right. before it, where he's like, "Is in, that when the Christians?" Yes, yeah. Dude. So Rambo, he's the boatsman or whatever, yeah, he's chilling yeah. in like you know shit ass oh. Burma or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, and he's that's a right. and because John Rambo has nothing else better to do, he's no. yeah, he's a boat guide on this. He's a, he's a boat guide. Sm- this muddy ass shit river. Yeah. <laughs> in shit ass Burma <laughs> because Doing nothing. yeah because hey John why go anywhere else very strange yeah. plot I have to say why it's, why go anywhere else on your GI bill <laughs> it was weird it was weird <laughs> it's weird <laughs> and then Ugh. 
Yeah, so the the Christian um the missionaries, the missionaries found him. find him. him, they want him to take them into these villages where they want to convert people to Christianity. And like you mm-hmm. said, their hearts in the right place. But you know, Rambo he's looking at these people and he like looks at the blonde chick, you know, yeah. and he's just like they would have they would have raped you and cut your limbs off. Hmm. And they're like, "Oh, well, but you know, we're willing to, we're willing to die." Yeah, so, yeah, they were. He's just like, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that, that, fuck me, and they were so naive. Fuck, I gotta tell you that movie's so fucking naive. awesome, though. It is good, bro. He gets uh, on that Gatling gun. <laughs> He's just blowing motherfuckers apart. They're exploding in the fields. You see him with his lip up, and he goes, The only thing that could have made it better is if it was at waist height instead of chest height. And he's just like shooting it like it's big cock. <laughs> but yeah, how how fucked up was it? They get caught, and the they some of them get eaten by pigs. Do you remember Fuck that? Fuck yeah, dude, dude. Yo, that movie did pigs. That don't give shit, shit. It did not hold back. Pigs don't give a shit. They don't. You think I feel bad about eating bacon? No, because they, if they have a chance, they will devour you. They will roll in shit, but they don't give a shit. Always nope. remember that, kids. Always remember. Always remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you see, did you, speaking to other movies, while we're talking about movies, uh, have you seen um, Carnage yet? No, I have not. I will watch it. I, I look. I've heard it's pretty bad, but it's, it's I'll cool. you know I'll check it out in the privacy of my own home. Yeah, I'll check when it you know when it's streaming. I'll 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 chuck it on. I love yeah. Woody Harrelson. Like if he's in something, I'll just watch it anyway. But um, yeah, f- even he for me. I've uh, heard some pretty uh, yeah. I've heard some pretty bad, and not even yeah. from critics. Like I don't pay attention to critics. I'm talking from friends. Yeah. Yeah. Friends well, I, I made a I made a very vocal post. I don't know if you saw that. But, oh, I know. saw I saw something. You were shitting on it. I was shitting on it. Yeah, I was like John Rambo with a fifty cal as my cock. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, but anyways. Anywho, so my friend. What's up? My friend, my friend, my friend. Folks, everybody listening. As everyone knows, the Cookie and Cream podcast, Mm -hmm. well, for quite a few months now. It has been a while. We have had a mystery fan out in the world. Ooh, you know who I'm talking about. The Dog of Mad. Ooh, my dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this week, Mad Dog, mm-hmm. because he's so dedicated and we, we love him to death and we appreciate the hell out of his listenership and everyone's listenership. That's right. Everybody. But Mad Dog uh, really does go out of his way every week to write into the show. Yeah. Uh, with, you know, stories, suggestions, that sort of thing. Um, and we I te- have in we front tell of me. everyone. We tell everyone else. Like, if you want to write to us, do it. Oh, but please! Mad, yeah, if you're mad, listening right now, yeah. write into us. But Our mad emails Dog's in the, the only description. One that's done it because everyone else is like, "Fuck that shit! I don't want no <laughs> part of that, dude." Yeah, not no, even not, at all. not even with an alias. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let Mad Dog uh, take the reins. All right, so I got this letter in front of me. This is uh, this week's letter from the good old dog of Mad, the Mad Dog himself. Yeah. Dear Cookie and Cream. So polite, man. 
I would like to ask if either of you have had any experiences where you have unintentionally offended anyone due to religious ignorance. Okay. My story this week is titled Unholy Communion. (laughs) As I previously mentioned, I spent some time as an exchange student in Canada when I was 16. To clarify, the six Mexicans I shared a house with were all... (laughs) (laughs) Hold on a second. (laughs) See, like I said a few episodes ago, there's nothing... (laughs) There's nothing off color or racist it's just, about the sentence. It's but just, because of <laughs> because of the times we live in. When you say it, certain things in my brain spark. It's like you think some punchline's coming. That's right. It's the same. It's the same where it's, it's just like same. I just want to clarify. So the six Jews I used to bunk with, and it's like, oh, wait, yeah. hold on, what? Are you is there a surely a joke's coming? It's like, no, I just, I stayed with six Jews while I was in Israel. It's like, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. So anyway, being he the, says... Being uh, the six Batman Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. So he says, to clarify, the six mu- the six, I almost said Muslims. To, to clarify, <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, the six Mexicans I shared a house with were all fellow students in the same exchange program. Not relevant to the story, but just wanted to qualify my previous statement. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the school that I was allocated to happened to be a Catholic school called Holy Cross. On the very first day of the semester, the first event before classes started was a whole school mass. This mass happened to be an extra special event, as the school had had invited the bishop of the whole diocese to preside over the mass. I had never in my life attended any such event, so it goes without saying that I had absolutely no clue as to the appropriate protocols for engaging in Holy Communion. As luck would have it, I happened to be the very first student out of 1,500 in the auditorium to celebrate. (laughs) (laughs) If it's it's the mad dog, it's not luck. That is divine intervention. (laughs) Fuck yeah, it is. (laughs) <laughs> some some higher power knew the mad dog was present. He, <laughs> they said, hey, he's, hey, he's first. <laughs> he's, he's shouldering the Holy Ghost, right? And Jesus Christ, he's like, hey, I'm God, I'm God. I made this one. Watch this. Oh, Have a shit. look. So, a yeah, look. mad dog out of 1,500 <laughs> students in the auditorium has got to go first. <laughs> he says, I nervously approached the bishop who held out what looked like a rice cracker, and solemnly said, the body of Christ. I took the biscuit and replied with an enthusiastic, cheers, mate. (laughs) (laughs) And I I started munching on the cracker right in front of him. (laughs) In trying to show my best manners, I also tried to shake his hand to express my thanks for the tucker. Oh, fuck, that's so Aussie. Tucker. For all you Americans or anyone not Australian listening, Tucker is a slang, an Aussie slang term for, like, food. Tucker. Oh, fuck yeah, mate. Fucking Tucker. Mate. Oh, yeah, mate. Mate, I'll fuck you for your Tucker. (laughs) Does that work? Ho- uh, is that, is that homeless hard? Aussie holding up a sign. Oh, we'll fuck for Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the- boss. Yeah. You fucking. Yeah, suck a little bit of dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. F- what a- <laughs> oh, that's, what? that's the only Not accent. That. That's the only Aussie accent I ever do is like the disgusting Bogan Hauso accent. Well, fair enough because Aussies they they do like the um, West Coast surfer or like the the bum in the trailer park. 
Oh right, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that no. See, that's a good point. No, fuck them. You know what? It's easier <laughs> to do. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh. Fucking. Fucking. Fucky cunt. Oh yeah. Fucking. Fucking fuck order it. Yeah, I ordered. You... I ordered a fucking chocolate milkshake and fucking drive through. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I couldn't do an Aussie accent. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, it's like, so but, bad, I know. But what if he was walking down the street after he fucked the dude for his tucker and he's like, someone's like, hey, mate, what do you got? And he's like, fucking tucker. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking tucker because he got it from fucking. Anyway. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. We can't speak Aussie. Oh, mate. Oh, fucking. Mate. Oh, fucking. I'll fucking tug ya. <laughs> Both hands, big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, mate. I'll fucking tug ya from some tucker. Tug ya. I'll fucking, fucking tug ya. <laughs> fucking tug ya, mate. Maybe that's why we can't sound Aussie, because we don't have a dick in our mouth for food. <laughs> oh, st- oh, 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 Australia, oh. he went, oh. Let me try it. Let me try this with a pin. Wait, hold on. Let me put this pin in my mouth. Oi. Uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's safe. Hey, 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 hold on a second, mate. Let me just grab this fucking carrot out of my fridge. <laughs> fucking fall stick just, just fucking down my throat. <laughs> you know what I oh, love about gosh. Australia? Here's what I love. Here is what I love. About, I promise everyone we're going to get back to the Mad Dog story in a yeah, second. Yeah, we'll get back to the story in a second. Mad Dog, we love you. We love you. We love, we know you're listening. Uh, this is what I love about Australia and Aussies. This is what I love. Uh-huh. Everything we just did right then. You think yeah. they give a fuck? Hell no, they no. don't. No, They're they don't. They're giggling at it. They love it. That's right. Because this is Australia. Dude, Australians love when people take the piss out of them because – I'm, I'm going I'm yeah. to say this straight up. Straight yeah. up. I'm saying this right now on the podcast. I'm declaring this right now. And this is based on experience, and Wayne, I, I think you might agree. Hold on, man. I don't, you need to tell me what the shit is first, because if it ain't if it ain't proper, I'll get blamed for it. <laughs> I <black>. think <laughs> at least what is it? at least today. Okay. I think <clears throat> Australians have the best sense of humor on the planet. That's me. I would not. I would not disagree with that. I I gotta say, I would, I, at least top top three. I've met some funny people over here. Bro, the Aussies and are so it's fucking the, amazing. It's the, do you know what, too? It's the she'll be right attitude, I think, that has something to do with it's it. It's very chill. I love it. And they and fuck, do they love comedy here. I can't believe, I gotta yeah. say, I can't believe comedy is not bigger mm-hmm. than it currently is. In this country, I just really got to put that out. Yeah, there. that's true. And too. I'm so glad that our listenership is primarily Australians. We know that we've seen all the stats. Yeah, and, I, and we appreciate the hell out of that. We love all of you. Fuck, yeah. we need stand up needs to to boom again in this country. Bro. We need to it do ain't it. Ain't big enough. Nah, I like comedy I think in I general. Struggle. I think I'd struggle doing stuff like my sets in America. Because I'm always like controversial, like, you know, black and white. Whereas in America, I'd have to prove like, yeah, but I'm black though, my niggas. But over here, they're like, <laughs> oh shit, we should just take his word for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, he fucking looks black. He might. But then they'll be like, show us your dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, go on. Go on, right, my yeah, fucking, fucking whip it out. Yeah, hey, you fucking, you fucking big, big black cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he's got an afro. I don't know. Just take his word for it. Fuck. But yeah, oh, I know Christ. what you mean, dude. Australia, we love you, man. That's yeah, why we absolutely. live here. Absolutely. Best Serious. sense of humor. Greatest. Yeah. So, the Mad, uh, mad Dog. 
<laughs> back to uh, the, back to so the. he. So yeah, uh, I took the biscuit and replied with an enthusiastic cheers, mate, and started munching on the cracker right in front of uh, the bishop. In trying to show my best manners, I also tried to shake his hand to express my thanks for the tucker. A teacher, yeah, hey, you know, nice guy. A, A teacher who had witnessed this sacrilege immediately pulled me aside and marched me straight to the principal's office. Ignoring my pleas of confusion about what was wrong and didn't seem to pick up on my obvious accent, the principal was so horrified and embarrassed that a student had insulted the bishop to such a degree that I was suspended from school for three days. Jeez. It was a rough semester from there as word got around with the students and I gained a reputation for being a Satan worshiping asshole. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I have to say, How? I have to say, as much as I love Mad Dog, boy, what a cliffhanger. Yeah. What a cliff. That's a Sylvester Stallone cliffhanger. That's fucking 1990s <laughs> John Lithgow villain cliffhanger shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Trying to mm. trying to hold on to that chick on that thin line in between the cliffs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> dude, that's yeah. Because now that's I want to know man. more. It's like, all right, you had this reputation of being a Satan worshiping asshole. What'd oh fuck, next? bro! I would have been, bro, if I was going to that high school and suddenly, like out of nowhere, I got a reputation for being a Satan worshiper. I would oh. embrace it so hard. You, man, I, you could get out of homework. You could get out. You could date the hottest chick and be like, "I'll oh, curse you, bitch. Give me that pussy." <laughs> <laughs> I'd start showing up to school get- in like, like white face paint with black mascara and like all black clothing and wallet chains, and you know, yeah. this is obviously back in the nineties. He's talking about. Dye my hair boots. fucking blue and and Just red. Come to school in a straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> the Hannibal mask. My outfit today is a metaphor describing the prison that is the school system. <laughs> oh, it could be. It could be. It is actually. It's prison for kids. Uh, that adults pay for. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Back, back to Satanism. <laughs> and because it's the 90s, like just show up with a boom box over your shoulder, but it's not hip hop you're playing. It's like Marilyn Manson's no. Antichrist Superstar album. <laughs> 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 the beautiful people. The Dude. beautiful people. I fuck with that kind of music. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, Matt, you know, hey, say what you want about Manson now, because obviously he's uh, apparently a, a pretty horrific woman abuser. But uh, hey, yeah, fuck is that music out. awesome? Yeah. Marilyn Manson's he, the shit, bro. Music. He did a lot of good things before he started beating up bitches, just like Chris Brown. <laughs> And you know what? <laughs> let's let's get honest about the world real if quick. If Marilyn Manson could dance, he he would have got off. Bro, how funny <laughs> is it? Chris <laughs> like Brown, nothing, bro. bro, what happened? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. I don't know. Chris Brown. Hu- a huge fan base primarily yeah. made up of females. Mm. They have stuck up for this fucking piece of shit that he is. Cause they want that they want that Chris Breezy Deezy, the sleazy <laughs> the sleazy Chris Breezy Deezy. They stuck up for him through all of it, Af- even after those photos of Rihanna surface where her face was beaten to a fucking bloody pulp. Right. I mean, Jesus maybe, Christ. Maybe they were like that bitch deserved to get hit. They were maybe they was like I would have hit her, but. <laughs> I didn't want to break a nail, but 
But, but dude, the second the second this shit comes out about Manson, that's gone. Like Be- ousted. because he looks he looks like the type. <laughs> Come on, bro. And they're like, oh, women beating. That's it. Where are the bodies, Marilyn? Where are the bodies? <laughs> And Come the chick on, who was who uh, the 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 chick he was dating who like filed the charges. Mm-hmm. I mean, at, look, that's awful. Like it is. That's it, not it's cool, it's really. awful. But I remember seeing some of uh, like her quotes, and oh, she would say things like, "You know, oh, just just such shocking behavior," mm-hmm. and. And I thought to myself, I'm like, um, look, not to sound insensitive, but uh, you're dating Marilyn Manson. Correct. Do, Correct. I mean, you took one look, take one yeah. look at the dude, and yeah. and are you suddenly you're surprised that there's some dark ass behavior going on? Yeah. Behind the behind the makeup. <laughs> You don't you don't hear chicks coming out of the woodwork that dated like Allison Cooper talking about he forced me to drink bat blood, right? Right. Like, yeah, you, yeah. It's like you know you knew what you were in for, just some weird shit like that. I some mean, I, like, again, it's not okay. It's that, not okay. But like you, 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 yeah. you met, <laughs> you met the fucking. <sighs> The 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 king of like the pioneered fucking goth yeah. rock, yeah. and again his what art is heck? his art is so fucking good. What do you think? Like you think he's gonna take you on a date to Applebee's or something like that? <laughs> right. What do you think's gonna happen? He, I mean, I mean, come on, man! Like it's hard, like not again. Not that they, you know, these women. Yeah, they I mean, they don't it. deserve it, obviously, but. It's just like if anyone's going to, you know, kind of lose it quicker than anyone else would. Jeez. He's kind of the type. So, anyway. Hey, um, I, I just remembered I offended someone unintentionally uh, when we went to um, christen my daughter. Right? Right. In, in, the, in the church. And um, it was a rainy day, and we had to park, I don't know, fucking 500 meters away, right? 50 yards away. and Walk through alleys with the umbrella. I'm holding the umbrella out for my wife and my son and my daughter. It's because you're a gentleman. Because I, I can't fit under it. <laughs> because by the time the time... You know, it hits me. By the time it reaches their short asses, they'll get wet, right? I'll be dry, but they'll be wet. So I'm holding it out for all three of them because they got their hair done, right? And anyway, we finally get to the doorsteps of the of the church, and I do the thing with the umbrella, you know, the movie thing. Everyone knows that. You shake it off, of course. And then and then I turn around and my and. What I didn't realize what happened when we were walking through the alley, like one of the gutters gave way, and I thought I steered clear of it, but it got me, right? So I do the thing with the umbrella in, in the church, and I look over, and my suit's completely wet. And I'm in the church, and I'm like, God damn it! Because I'm pissed. <laughs> it was a brand new suit, first time wearing it. And I'm like, God damn it! And I turn around, and there's the church lady. With with the pamphlet, with, like ready to hand it to me, <laughs> and with that with that look on her face, like I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> and I took the pamphlet, and you know, I just went on with my business. But shit, man, you know, I didn't mean to offend her, but you know, it was just one of those things. I was annoyed, you know. I wanted to look good for my daughter's christening. And um, the Lord decided to um, <sighs> shower me with his grace a bit too much with actual water. <laughs> 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 On my new suit. It was a double-breasted suit, man. Pimped out. I got a pimped out double-breasted suit, man. It's pretty dope. Of course you do. 
Of course I do. Of course. <laughs> that, didn't, that, didn't, that didn't sound horrible at all. Tell me, Wayne, where did you park the pink Cadillac, nigger? <laughs> Well, Mike, I'll have you know. Oh shoot! Tell me what what brand of what brand of spray on hair grease do you keep in your bathroom for your Jerry Curl, Wayne? Soul Glow. Soul Glow. <laughs> like that fucking that character in uh, in Next Friday. Pinky. Next Friday. Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. And but and from Coming to America. Yeah. All, all the niggers get off the couch and it's oh, just shit. three wet patches. <laughs> <laughs> that scene is so good. He's like, were, were there some squirting white women in here or were there just three Negroes with soul glow? <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. Oh, soul glow. Soul glow. I love that That's scene. Hilarious. I love that scene in Next Friday where Pinky's got a gun to like Ice Cube's head. Mm-hmm. And he's freaking out. He's just say something, say something, <laughs> motherfucker, say something. Yeah. And then, like, he goes to say something. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut, Shut up. Fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> he's stomping his feet on the ground. God damn you, motherfucker. Oh god. Say something I again. Don't. Say something I again. I told you don't say nothing. <laughs> that character was funny as shit, man. Pinky, oh my god! When he fir- yeah. when you first meet him, right when he gets out of that limo, seems normal. But but, but he walks up to the away. driver. He like walks with the driver, and he's like, "Now, now, now, I done told you, ass. You take it easy around them corners." <laughs> I just about spilled spill my drink all over my shit. <laughs> it's so fucking hilarious, bro. Oh, oh, I love that's because cool. don't don't they pull up to the CD store or something like that? The yeah, store? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Pinky. It's like Pinky's like you Pinky's, know, record store, or whatever. Pinky's it is. record shop. Man, those movies are so great. They are, they oh, um. So they're iconic, dude. How many how many times have you seen the meme? Damn, exactly, yeah. dude. It's it's yeah. an, it is a piece of American comedy cinema. It's totally iconic. It is yeah, one hundred percent just legend. Apparently, Mike Epps was making uh, Ice Cube crack up during Mike Epps' audition. I'm sure for, for Day Day. I'm sure he was. Yeah. Bro, when yeah, they're how to keep a, that scene where they're all like they're all hitting that blunt and they're trying to use the vacuum cleaner to like suck all the smoke suck up, suck it up, and, oh he, and he keeps getting his lips <laughs> stuck in the vacuum. What an idiot! <laughs> hey, quit Dang fucking man. around! Quit fucking around, man! Hey, Craig, quit fucking around! <laughs> Wasn't it the uncle that won? And he's like, man, don't be spilling that shit on me, man. Just Versace. He's like, nigga, you can't even spell Versace. <laughs> right. And he's like, F-O-Sachi. <laughs> Fosachi. I love it. I love they need it. to. Hey, Ice Cube, nigga, I know you listening to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> right now. So bring Cookie and Cream in on the next installment. Let's do it. Uh, hey man, I'd be we gotta try. We I'd gotta try. We have to try. But yeah. What about you, man? You offend anyone? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you have, but unintentionally, <sighs> many times, religiously. Um, I only have one story. Mm-hmm. So. I was like 10. It was my first communion, and we were having it at uh, this place called Black Hills Park in Maryland, like right by this right. lake. Yeah. So the first communion had already happened like at the church, and now we were like at this like whole big picnic area with like a ton of family, mm-hmm. uh, mostly my mom's side of the family because they're uh, Irish Catholic, so 
Yeah, makes sense, right? Oh, a tiny toe. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. Oh, I heard, <laughs> I heard you had your uh, your first communion. That yeah. was terrible. What was that? What did I even do? I used to be I'm able to do it. a really good Irish accent. I don't know what you the fuck I to. just did there. I'm rubbing off on you. What about what? Remember that joke you told me about Batman? What if it? What yeah. if it? You updated. Oh, you're not tonight. You're not so tough tonight, are you, Muslim Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, they told. Hi. You going tonight? Okay, peace out. Peace out, Nika. Nah! <laughs> you didn't pick it up? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That is hilarious. Good That's night, my darling. kid. That's my kid. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, Give me a kiss. My. Oh, my gosh. Love you. Peace out. All right. All right, we got it. <laughs> I didn't teach oh her that. She just God. she just grew up knowing. That is funny as shit. Yep. That's how it is. I never thought How it is, man. I tell you I'm years. real, man. Never thought hey. in a million years I'd hear a four year old drop it. If that she's three. Hey, hey, sorry. If that if that doesn't <laughs> legitimize how real I am, you know, shit. Oh my kids my are saying that. Just because it's not hurting anybody, shit. It's funny. The wife's like, she can't say that. She can't say what? She can't even like... <laughs> <laughs> she, she won't repeat it. No, what, what can't she say? You know what I mean. I don't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, so uh, so you're you're in you're in Black Hill or Black Lake, Black uh, Black Hills, sorry, African American Hills, Maryland. Um, hey, that's <laughs> <laughs> it was on the top of Martin Luther King Jr. Hill. <laughs> let my people go. Let my people go. Saul was at Malcolm X Crossing. <laughs> so, so we were. Uh, we were at this picnic gazebo uh, with a plaque on it that said Soldier Boy Gazebo. <laughs> so we were having communion at the Waffle House. <laughs> so we I was having my first communion at Superman That Ho Park. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I got sorry. Superman that ho national park. Sorry. Sorry everyone. <laughs> yeah. Da- down by uh for Shizzle Lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So so yeah, like so I'm with uh, my mom's side of the family <laughs> and like yeah. extended family. A bunch of people there. Probably 100 yep. people. All these bunch of Irish Irish Catholics and uh, I, so I had my first communion at the church I'm like 10 years old and uh, we're at this picnic area <clears throat> and I had noticed a couple of relatives they had uh, there was like this envelope thing like up at this uh, table where there was like some some gifts and stuff you know whatever like a, a gift table made sense yep. but this envelope I saw relatives stuffing like some cash into it right and I was like, oh, like, like I'm 10 years old. And then it hit me. I yeah. was like, oh, wait, this is like, this is like a money thing. Yeah. This, like, like I get money mm-hmm. for this boring ass thing I just went through with the church that I couldn't stand. But wait, oh, suddenly I was excited. I was like, oh, of course money. you would be. So, yeah. dude, t- imagine this 10 year old, <clears throat> this spoiled fuck of a 10 year old dummy i pick up this envelope and i start walking around this whole picnic area to like all these relatives including like there's a couple there who were like very elderly like hardcore bible thumper irish catholic irish mafia type and sure yeah yeah you know like Conor McGregor is like their bodyguard. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Sure, waving his arms like an idiot. 
Careful. Don't get hit with a rogue elbow. He doesn't know what he's doing. He claims to be warming up, but he's actually trying to do the soldier boy yeet. <laughs> he's just that unco. <laughs> oh, Christ. And so I uh I would wa- I started walking up to relatives with yeah. this envelope I had grabbed off the table. For sure. And I just started going um yes, uh cash please. <laughs> Uh, yes, money. just uh, j- just just go ahead and put the uh, go ahead and put the money right here, right in here, and I'd like hold it up in but, front of their face, like they didn't have a choice. Yeah, just right. go ahead and uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Matt, if you could just uh, just shove the money right here yeah. in the in the, uh, in the envelope. Don't worry about going up to the table. I got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm just You're walking just around, up. and like you know, most of the family, it's like. They just find it humorous. I'm just a child. It, I don't know what I'm doing. But then some, you can kind of see that look on their face, and they kind of shoot my mom a look. Oh, like look what your look what your little piece of shit, undisciplined, nah, <laughs> you know, heathen of a son is doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a- <laughs> And so yeah, I just start, and my mom had to pull me aside, and she's like, Michael. You do not, you do not grab that envelope off the table and just walk up to people and demand money. That is not how this works. And I still didn't even get it. I was just like, but I'm like, I'm like thinking out loud. I'm like, but I saw them put money in the envelope, which I'm like, doesn't that mean that they Mm. were just going to put money in the envelope anyway? Of course. And she's like, that's not the point. And I'm like, but you see, I'm just, I think I said something like, no, see, mom, I'm just, I'm just asking that they put the money in the envelope faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I, I bring it, I bring it to them. So I meet them halfway. I meet them halfway between the picnic, between, <laughs> between the, the soldier boy picnic table. Yeah. And the Superman that hoe gift table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meeting them halfway with the fascizzle yeah. envelope. Of course. Yeah. Well, I think it's because you were using all those slang terms. Your mom might have got confused. Exactly. I was like, Mom, look, it's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you leave your Uncle Benjamin out of it. He's been through enough already. That's it. With- no more hip-hop cassette tapes. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> when you convinced me to buy you that NWA cassette tape, I thought it stood for Nice White Associates. Yeah. <laughs> nice White Associates. Oh, shit. <laughs> Had I known. That's pretty good. That's pretty I good. I just made that up just then. Do you like that? I love it. I That was right then and there on the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, well. that's... A little bit of improv from Mike Seamus Reed. Yes. Yes. What does it actually stand for, though? (laughs) 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 What what is it? (laughs) Ka-chow! Nice people with attitudes. (laughs) Oh, nice. Yes. (laughs) Uh, Anyway. My friend, my friend, my yes. friend. Yes, what's up? We have approached quarter to nine p.m. and we it's we, late. we had <clears throat> told ourselves we're going to keep this one a little short this time. We we got a yeah. couple of things to do. Yeah, um, we just have too much fun. I know you're still feeling a little bit under the weather <clears throat> with that vaccine shot, and uh, I'm fatigued. I don't, you know, just I don't know if yeah. it's old age or the or the COVID vax. Oh, so whatever. Me. Or breathing through a mask all day. I haven't got my, my proper oxygen. I was breathing too much carbonated uh, dioxide. Too much fresh air? No, I wasn't getting enough oh. of, of, the, of the oxygen, of the pure oxygen. Uh, yeah. I put on a mask and it's like, shit, this one smells different to the other one. 
Yeah, I get that a lot. You, you get that? What yeah. is that? Is that the material? The material, mm. yeah, also mixed with like whether you've, if it's a one of those washable masks, how long has it been since you washed it? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, well, that, yeah. And you I know, wonder that, that area a bit below your nose and like around your lips, how it sweats into the mask. A lot. Yep. And then you smell your that. upper lip and you're like, hmm, that's. Sometimes I, do you know, you know what gleeking is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's when you accidentally shoot saliva out from under your tongue. Yes. So like a like a goddamn lizard. Like a like a <laughs> vagina squirt. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um <laughs> not sorry, but yeah. It's like sometimes when I yawn, my tongue vagina will squirt. <laughs> so your your tongue clit will fire off a bit of venom. My yeah. My um yeah, my cobra tongue will squirt out some whatever it oh, is. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no miss. Oh, mister. Oh. Have you, have you heard that? You heard that um, mim song? Oh, no, 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 no. Or the um what oh no that's not it that's a that's a Joyner Lucas song oh the the other Mim song is oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 <laughs> I have you heard that heard one this. now it's I want good. to oh well I'm put that on when I get inside I didn't do it any justice but um yeah sometimes I'll I'll um gleek on the, on my mask and it's and then I'm like damn it now it's wet <laughs> <clears throat> so. Uh, that happens. Um, Anyways. Anyway. Oh, folks. Okay. So here's a cool announcement. Mm. We're close. We're, we're things have come along just enough where I can announce this. Oh, dope. So check this out. Mm-hmm. Everybody listening right now, we're going to let you know this shit straight up. Ooh. Mid January next year. All right. Mm-hmm. Right around the 15th of January. Okay. Wayne and I. The Cooking and Cream Podcast. We will be putting on a fucking awesome stand-up show right here in the Illawarra. Oh! If you are in the Illawarra, folks listening, if you are in the Illawarra, the Wollongong, Shell Harbor, Shell Haven, South Coast area, if you are here Mm -hmm. and we represent the Illawarra, we love it here. We represent the I-double-L nigga. (laughs) <laughs> we ill in the water we are going to put on a sick ass show a few months from now all right right around mid-january yeah. now we are in negotiations with the venue right now yeah we are going to go have a meeting with them uh in just a couple of days from now that's right this thing is going to be fucking amazing this is like old school dinner in a show type shit all okay, right good. we are okay. gonna rent this space we have this space for hours it has we're good it's gonna have a bartender it's gonna have dude it's open bar it's gonna have everybody can eat dinner ahead of time on this show Oof. people the cookie and cream podcast presents baby this Oof. show is going to be the shit and we're letting you know right now if you are listening to this right now Mark your calendars, man. Mid-January. We'll, we'll give you the final date soon. We are going to run a fucking amazing night of stand-up, man. We're going to have mm-hmm. a killer headliner. We're going to have some really talented local comedians on this thing. It's yep. an open bar. It's <clears throat> dinner. It's a show. It's a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour fucking extravaganza, man. Shit. We might even be there, too. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we we might host it. We'll, we we'll decide on the night. We might host it. That's we right. might show up. Yeah. Dude, yeah, dude, this is gonna be sick. I'm excited as fuck. We're we're, we're close to to nailing this place. So uh, we'll keep everybody updated. Um, keep it in mind. 
all the shows we do from here on out, all the podcasts we do, at the end of it, we will update you constantly on exactly how we're going. You'll start to see a bunch of shit on social media once we once we get this thing concreted, man. Once we once we nail down the logistics, uh, which will be soon. We're meeting with a with a event organizer on Thursday, mm. so this is gonna be sick. Yep. Anything you want to add, Cookie Monster, before we get out of here? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Just, uh, everyone, I say it a lot. Like, don't take shit too serious. You know, Please. respect people. You know, I'm not saying that you can't make fun of a motherfucker. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but just, yeah, don't drag other people down. Uh, just be nice to one another. Um, and yeah, stay safe. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the week. Thank you for listening. Uh, and yeah, glad to be here with you, my friend. Hell yeah. Sorry I couldn't be there in person um, because COVID didn't kick my ass. COVID vaccine kicked my ass. That's How's right. that for a twist? <laughs> exactly. Jesus. I can't judge you. It, 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 it fucked me for three days and my wife was bedridden for three days after that second yeah. jab. Yeah, Not saying so. you shouldn't get it. Don't don't take it the wrong way. God you know. damn it. We were going good. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, yo, but Wayne said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Like, yeah, just everybody, yeah, you know. Just, yeah, stay safe and be nice. Or don't be nice and then be shunned for it. Shunned for it. Yeah, we should just go. <laughs> All right, folks. What about you? Any final thoughts? Uh, I just, I, I love all of you. Um, everybody listening, we really appreciate it. Um, starting next week, Wayne and I will be face-to-face again in the same room recording this podcast, which yeah, is very right. exciting. Yeah. So that means, folks, YouTube really ramps back up. We will f- be to, filming yeah. the podcast. So if you want to watch the podcast like it's a... You know, some wacky public access TV show. It's like Wayne's World on crack. Go ahead. Turn it on. Let's do it. Give us a subscribe. Get on YouTube. Please, everybody listening, get on YouTube and hit the subscribe button because we are going to start filming uh, some more comedy sketches and that kind of thing. So a lot of video is going to really start with this podcast now that this lockdown is over. So do us that favor. Get on there. Subscribe. Notification bell. Thumbs up. All that Mm -hmm. shit. You know how it works. All that shit. You know how the internet works. Oh, that works. shit. That's right. Sometimes, unless you're in Australia, and then it sometimes works. <sighs> Don't even get me started. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just trying to just trying to hit the stop button for fuck's sake. Just go watch the <laughs> Batman trailer again. Everything will be yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm excited for that. All yeah. right, folks. We love you to death. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting. Uh, and like you heard at the beginning of the show, patreon.com slash cooking and cream pod, two bucks a month. That would be great. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you, can you edit my daughter at the end of it? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. I'll splice okay. her in. Okay. I'll splice her in. <laughs> I, she can be part of the new intro. Oh, nice. I like it. Intro as an outro. Intro, outro. Intro, I'll, out. I promise you, I'll uh, I'll splice her in somewhere in there. You just white that thing up. You do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Okay, bye. We're out of here. Peace. <laughs>